Hi everybody, it is Liz today and I'm wearing my glasses because I'm going to be reading you another book. You really can't see what this says, I know, but it says Jan Brett Hedges Surprise. And basically, today I want to show you how you can make punctuation multi-sensory. So, I'm talking today full stops and also commas. So let me show you how it's done. Yesterday I was showing you how you made full stops by clapping or slapping or clicking or clanging or banging a drum. Today I'm going to show you how we can also include commas into that scenario. So let's make a start. Hedgy Surprise by Jan Brett. It says, once there was a speckled hen who laid an egg every day only to have it taken by a little Tom Ten every morning. It all started because the Tom Ten got tired of porridge for breakfast. You can see what I'm doing, keep concentrating. Each morning, the rooster crowed as the sun came up and Henny knew the Tom Ten was on his way. So did the little hedgehog who lived nearby. The Tom Ten called out to her, Henny, have you got a little yummy for my hungry, hungry tummy? Next page. The Tom Ten climbed into the hen house, took Henny's warm, smooth egg and ran off to cook it in his little kettle. Sprinkle it with salt, and gobble it down. Then he fell fast asleep in the hayloft until evening. Do you see what I'm doing? It's the clicks that are the commas, it's the slaps that are the full stops. Let's keep going, or periods if you're in America. Henny didn't like the Tom Ten taking her eggs, but she put up with it until one morning when she saw Goosey Goosey sail forth smiling and bowing with a steam of piping goslings following her. These pictures are just gorgeous and this is all sort of done in cross stitch across the top. I do love it. It was given to me by one of my American friends. Oh my, Henny clucked. Where did all those little ones come from? My eggs are hatching, crooned Goosey Goosey. Here comes the last one now. From that moment on, Henny wanted a brood of peeping chicks of her own. But how could she stop the Tom Ten from taking her eggs? Keep going. The next morning, when the Tom Ten poked his head in, Henny tried. She clucked loudly and pecked. She flew at him, but nothing stopped that hungry Tom Ten from taking her eggs again. There's the Tom Ten. He's like a little elf or a pixie, and you can see he's taking the eggs from Henny. And there's those beautiful illustrations I was telling you about. No eggs, no chicks, no peeping babies. Henny wailed so loudly that she woke up the little hedgehog, her tears pouring down on top of him. Puffer, puffer, stick, stick. Hedgy went as he crawled out to talk to her. Poor Henny, I've been watching the Tom Ten take your eggs. I'll help you trick him into stopping. There you go. That's how it works. Let me tell you what happens. They give the Tom Ten a acorn to try and trick him. Then they give him some strawberries to cook for breakfast to try and trick him. Then they give him a potato that he can cook and boil and mash up to trick him. And then, by the time it all finishes up, 
I guess you can bet what's going to happen. Henny manages to save her eggs and has her own brood of peeping chicks. So there you have it. That is how it's done. Clapping, clanging, banging the full stops and clicking the commas. It's really easy. Kids love it. It makes it multi-sensory. They start looking for the commas. They start discerning what's a comma, what's a full stop. And this whole multi-sensory punctuation method we've got can be expanded even further. So there you go. I hope you had a super duper day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.